So, good morning, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk about this paper. So, yesterday, I shared this paper to you. So, maybe some of them or none of them read this paper. Please raise your hand just if you just look at shortly this paper. Okay, good. Raise your hand if you read all. Okay. So, this title is Mechanical Responsive Stem Cell to Target Cancer Metastasis Through Biophysical Cues. So published in Science and Medicine in 2017. So they mentioned the MR, MRCS. MRCA is Mechano Responsive Cell System, which they developed for the first time. So this is some certain uh, proof of concept study. So the basic notion is that when the uh, you guys already know that stem cell they can home to cancer cell preferentially compared to just normal cell, which means if you inject stem cell to your blood vessel, stem cell can recognize where is cancer cell, and then they go and migrate to the cancer cell site. This is some we can call homing effect. Oh. Stem cell homing effect. So, and then they want to utilize this homing effect of stem cell to kill the cancer cell. And then, so another notion is that when the cancer is metastasis, the cancerous region is more stiffened than normal tissue, which means they are more hard or they are more cross linked. They are more fibrous. So when they combine these two together, stem cell can go to cancer cell, and then cancer cell region has more cross link tissue, which means stiffened tissue. And what happened? Our stem cell can react the mechano stiff microenvironment and then selectively to something. And then in here, the, they use prodrug. So prodrug means uh, in supplementary you can observe. So you inject systemic infusion of um, this mechanical responsive stem cell. And then, when your stem cell recognize cancerous region, and then they inject prodrug. Prodrug is originally they don't have any effect, but when they are clipped or when they are modified by some converter, in here CD, and then they change into drug. So prodrug is some prototype of the drug. So after the prodrug is turning to the drug, and then this drug can have effect to kill cancer cell. And then you are, you are asking why people use prodrug? Because if we use drug systemically, drug can damage other tissue like brain, lung, or kidney, liver. So when they use prodrug, and then the prodrug is systemically distributed, but when you inject the converter in just certain site, let's say lung, and then in lung specifically, prodrug change to drug, and then they can kill cancer cell near the lung. Then they can decrease the side effect of this drug. So this is some um, quite uh, not new, but very conventionally available concept at the moment. So. After the cancer cell recognizes this, uh, sorry, mesenchymal stem cell recognizes cancer region, especially through the collagen cross link more, and then they produce converter here, and then this converter, they can change the prodrug to drug, and then this drug can kill the cancer cell. Hmm. But in healthy cell, the stem cell 
uh, cannot feel the stiff stiffness or fibrosis, then they will not generate this converter. And then they, the prodrug will not change to drug. So very conceptually, this is very fancy, right? And then, as you know, the breast, they are using breast, breast cancer metastasis in the lung, which means they inject, uh, inject breast cancer in IV or in the lung directly, and then they mimic the breast cancer metastasis. Then for making this kind of um, mesenchymal responsive cell system, they are using this constructor. Stiffness sensing promoter. And then cytosine deaminase, called CD, or EGFP, or luciferase, depending on their assay. And CD is their target converter. EGFP just to say this is MSC. And then they can be easily detected in uh, confocal images. Luciferase, in in vivo study, you can detect it. Or you can combine three of them together. So anyhow, when stiffness sensing promoter is activated, these other three, they can activate it or produce it. And then this vector is retroviral transfer, transferly transfected in mesenchymal stem cell. So this stem cell, when they sit it on the stiff area, this stiff sensing promoter is activated and then they can uh, produce this CD, EGFP, or rich forage. And then they can producing CD or visualized by confocal or rich forage machine. Okay, and then, uh, so this is a, also a concept in the soft ECM. As you know, YAPTAS, they are phosphorylated and then they cannot go nucleus. And then stiffness sensing promoter is deactivated. But when the increase of stiffness in tumor in Nietzsche, the integrin and stiff ECM, they are communicate each other and then they can make actin filament the more active filament, they can translocate the uh, YAPTAS in nucleus. And the stiffness sensing promoter is activated and the expression of CD, EGFP, or luciferase is generated. Hmm. And then they prove this concept here. They are using acryamide gel, 1 to 40 kilopascal, and then anti-EGFP is highly expressed in here, which means the stem cell, they are feel, they feel stiffness, and then YAPTAS go inside, and then in here, EGFP is expressed. And then also, YAPTAS, they are mainly located in nucleus, not cyto cytosol, and that P confirm the nuclear translocation. And then, when they quantify using different stiffness and with or without inhibitor. Blebby, as you know, myosin 2 inhibitor, the number of inhibitor. MR7 is actin polymerase inhibitor. PF22A is integrin inhibitor. So when they inhibit myosin contraction, actin polymerization, and integrin, so here integrin and myosin contractility or actin polymerization, under 40 kilopascal, all are decreased, which means uh, the cell need this kind of integrin, actin, and non-mosomalgin too to generate and to sense the stiffness and then express the EGFP. And then depending on the increase of uh, stiffness, they, they express more EGFP, process intensity. And then they want to confirm in transcriptional level, EGFP and other YAPTAS related uh, gene expression, ANKRDATI and CTGF, which are very well known. Increase of stiffness show increase of trans transcriptional level of those three markers. And then when inhibitors are treated, those are 
or down-regulated, right? You have to compare this and this, this three and this. And then in normal MSC, and then this MSC with EGFP, they have similar uh, MRI expression in terms of this three, three value. But EGFP is not expressed in normal MSC because MSC doesn't have any this kind of constructor. But the behave to feel and sense the stiffness is similar with or with viral trans transfection. Then this uh, Im uh, quantification is based on these uh, images. So you can imagine EJP here, and then YAPTAS, and DAPI. Mm. Yeah, they confirm again using this, this anti yap and this is, yeah, maybe same images. So next, uh, in here, so previously they used only MRCS with uh, EJP with stiffness sensing promoter, and here they combine stiffness sensing promoter plus EJP plus CD. Uh, actually, I'm not sure they are uh, adding the EJP. Let's say just they are making constructor, stiffness sensing promoter plus CD. And then when, when this cell is cells are culture on different stiffness, the CD is more, yeah, CD fluorescence is more enhanced. But when they are co-treated with inhibitor, they are all down-regulated, okay? And B, they want to confirm the kill, cancer cell killing effect from the CD. So this prodrug without and with prodrug, they co-culture the breast cancer cell. They are stained with, uh, it's not stained here, breast cancer cell and then MRCS CD stem cell together with 5FC. And then as you can see, more stiffness, and in the presence of prodrug, cancer cell viability is decreased. And then in normal MSD, they don't have any effect. And CD MSC, this is only stem cell can produce on CD, regardless of the stiffness, they always produce a CD, and then they convert 5FC to 100% from prodrug to drug to kill cancer cell, and then this is similarly observed. So we can say MRCS stiffness sensing promoter is well activated and established. Yeah, similar with the CD only express MSC. And then they, in figure C, um, they, our notion uh, based on this figure B, we can say that, okay, 5FC is uh, converted to the prodrug to drug, but we have to say that they really are changed. So we checked 5FU concentration. FU is drug format of the 5FC. 5FC is prodrug, 5FU is drug. So when they measure, the converted drug concentration on the different stiffness, as you can see, over increase of stiffness, more drug is converted from the prodrug. And then only CD, MSC, they are highly changed. This is positive control. So when you combine them together, cancer cell is killed in MRCS CD because of 5AU is converted. The next, they do in vivo study. Actually, they are using maybe two or three different kinds of in vivo animal model, but basically, the almost a similar system. 
they inject the, this breast cancer cell IV. IV is inter vessel. Yeah, they inject this kind of amount, and then uh, six weeks, for six weeks they inject it, and then they making some uh, breast cancer cell metastasis in the lung because breast cancer cell is very well known to metastasis in lung tissue, and then they zero, they inject very uh, this amount of MSC, and then they want after one day later they inject pro drug this kind of amount, and then when they do double dosage or single, they inject here. And then this time point, they, they make them anesthesia and they capture the images using Lucifer H um, microscope machine. <coughs> and then eight day nine and day six after MSC injection, they check the survival experiment and uh, cancer cell tissue grows. So this is the luminescence images from the cancer cell. This can breast cancer cell, they are already luciferase. They are already expressing luciferase. So you can see DPA, DPBS, just without any MSC, cancer cell is maintained. Day 096. But in normal MSC, uh, they somehow increased. Or similarly, but when they using CD MSC, MSC only showing expressing CD regardless of stiffness, and MRCS CD, the stem cell they can only send when they only sense the stiffness, and then they can produce CD. Both of them they show decrease of cancer cell in lung tissue. This is quantified by early time point compared to day zero, what happened day nine? So one one means that day zero, day nine, same cancer cell amount. But when you look at CD, MSC, MRC, CD, uh, way below than one, but other, they are go high. And then when they compare uh, zero week and six weeks, this is long term tissue metastasis index, or are decrease in CDMSC, MRCSCD, compared to the red, blue is decreased. But other two, they are increased, blue is upper. <coughs> now when they check uh, this mouse survivability, TPBS is negative control. Most of the uh, mouse is dead, like after six months later, and normal MSC without any expressing expression of CD, secreting CD, similarly they're there, but CD MSC and mechanical sensing CD, they somehow survived, survived over 50%. So they confirm the effect of the MRCS CD, and those are similar with CD MSC. And then the next question is, okay. CD, MSC, MRC, CD, they are, both of them have similar effect to kill cancer cell in lung. And then next step is, is there any beneficial effect from the MRC, CD? We hypothesize that uh, when the stem cell is only, uh, when stem cell feel the stiffness, and at that time they can only secrete the CD, which is more safe. This is our motion. So we have to show this is really happening or not. So maybe uh, those study is performed in supplementary. Sorry. So first they check no detectable side effect in bone marrow after systemic treatment with MRCCD. So, annexin V and 7 ADD is an apoptotic marker. Day one and day nine, nothing changed. And then when they look at the bone marrow, monocyte, granulocyte, B lymphocyte uh, fraction is not changed that much. Okay, which which means this, there is no side effect from the MRCCD. Okay. 
and then bone marrow and look at it CD MSC MSC CD not much of change similar with normal MSC and then when they look at the liver mm, nothing change and the brain also not much of change and then uh, yeah so this is some basic notion or without any prodrug, the stem cell itself, they can never change, never have side effect. Okay? And then later, they will show us the beneficial effect of MRCCD. Here, after confirming this basic uh, systemic biocompatibility, they check tumor bearing lungs, CDMSC, normal MSC, DPBS, and MRCCD, and then day one and day nine. So what's the green color? The green color is annexin V, is apoptotic cell fraction. RFP is a breast cancer cell, and the DAPI is DAPI. So when you look at breast cancer cell, there are a lot in this normal MSC. In TPBS, also you can see little, little. When you compare to this and this, uh, actually, I'm not sure this is really good, but anyhow, you can see this uh, dead cell in MRCS and CDMSC. And then, but here, you can say tunnel positive cell after checking the anti anti annexin V. Let's see. Hmm. So, we, we can say maybe similarly. Some tissue, some cell in lung are dead, but we are not sure this is um, cancer cell or original lung cell. We are not sure, but in tunnel positive cell B, lung tissue damage. This is some when tunnel is also marker for apoptotic cell. When he, in figure B, they only detect the lung cancer and uh, lung cell apoptotic fraction. So when they have increase of tunnel positive cell in the lung tissue, which means lung cell damage. So compared to the CD, MSC, MRC, CD is decrease of lung apoptotic cell, which means uh, CD, MSC, they always express the CD, secreting CD, in the presence of the prodrug. So lung cancer, lung tissue is damaged. But compared to the CDMSC, MRCCD, they only, they are only homing to cancerous region in lung, and then they can specifically kill the can, a breast cancer cell in the lung, and then they have less damage to normal lung tissue. So this is some beneficial effect. We can say minimal side effect from the MRCCD. This is the reason why we have to use MRCCD, not just only MSC plus CD. And then they check uh, our hypothesis that uh, MSC they can fill the fibrosis or stiffness in the tissue, so they want to visualize this. SHG. This is some, uh, uh, they are using two photon or three photon microscope to visualize this fib uh, uh, fibrosis cross linking. So more blue things means more fibrosis or more stiffened area. So cancer cell region more stiffened, and then you can detect red breast cancer cell as well. And also CD is expressed from the our injected MRCS CD. Anti-EGFP is our injected MRCS MRCS CD cell. But in non-cancer region, we cannot see any green less green things, which means cancer cell is less home to non-cancer region. Because and then they have a little little anti-CD, but uh, compared to this, uh, almost 10%, and then there is no 
breast cancer here, and then maybe they have similar this fibrosis happening, but compared to this, less has high, less fibrosis. And then tumor free, there's no nothing in tumor. Uh, so not much, nothing is observed. And then this displacement length is some um, some one of the parameter to quantify this blue or fibrosis fibrosis semi quantification. They analyze where is that uh, displacement to length ratio. So I'm not mm, that much expert about these things, but displacement length when they are highly valued, which means they are highly fibrosis or highly stiffened. So tumor bearing cancer region is more highly cross-linked compared to others. And then for confirming, okay, I know they are more cross-linked. And the one thing I want to add is that this SHG, they didn't use any antibody or labeling. This is uh, you can detect using two photon or three photon microscope. So we, you can, when you find some proper machine to detect this one, and then this machine, two photon, three photon machine, they can co-learn by the microscope, confocal microscope, you can detect these images. Let's say you have liver fibrosis or aura cancer fibrosis, and then we want to check their YAPTAS, and then under YAPTAS expression, you want to say this tissue is more highly cross-linked, and then there is uh, one of the way to show this tissue is more highly cross-linked. Other marker is logs. I will show you later in supplementary. But logs, you have to use antibody. So for confirming, okay, they are more highly cross-linked, and then do they really have more high stiffness? So they are using by, by AFM, and then check the lung tissue after making them uh, with 500 micrometer thickness. And then when they check tumor very long, tumor very long, up to 300 kilopascal, they are detected. This is 50 micrometer and the 50 micrometer length. And then when they show us using this kind of graph, compared to tumor free, tumor very long had more high value of uh, stiffness. And then this is a uh, real cross linking images. So when you look at the cancer, this is cancer, and then cancer are apoptosis. So they are yellow, I mean, green and red color is merged, and then which show us some little yellowish color, and then cross linking they are more here. But compared to A and B, uh, compared to C, as you can see, A and B is more, how can I say? The morphology is different, right? This is more dot, 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 and a little round shape, but this is more round shape. And somehow, this is more highly cross-linked in, in terms of density. So we can say cross-linking specific tissue damaged by MRCS in response to mechanical cues in the metastatic niche in vivo inspecting the lung metastasis model. Now let's briefly look at the uh, supplementary, how they back up their story. So as I told you before, uh, as a student, supplementary data is very important to understand the whole picture. And then maybe most of your paper is starting from the supplementary. So we already explained this one. And then also this. And then this is the same data, <coughs> MRCS risk for age. Ah, this is um, after uh, previously they check on using microscope, EGFP, but here they are using risk for age transfected MSC. And then uh, when they transfected MSC with risk for age or EGFP, this phenomenon is same because they are using this MRCS resuperase for in vivo study, so they need the confirmation. 
Yeah, this and yeah, this one. This one is based on EJP quantification fluorescence, but this is quantification luciferase. Luciferase, you have to use specific machine for detecting luciferase, but fluorescence is a normal comfort car or just fluorescence microscope. And then CD MRI expression, yeah, compared to normal CD MRI, so you have to uh, quantify the CD MSC. After making CD MSC, they, without sensing the stiffness, they can continuously secrete CD. So CD is more highly enhanced here. Okay, and then this is uh, Lucifer age LFP is breast cancer. Breast cancer and with co culture with CD MSC and breast cancer without a uh, pro drug. No cancer is killed, but with this pro drug, because of CD secreted from MSC, cancer cell is red signal is disappear, which means cancer is damaged. And then they confirm the CD MSC, not MRCS, MRC vascular responsive stem cell MRCS. In the CD MSC, when the increase of cell number, this uh, Cancer cell killing effect is more enhanced. The low value is more cancer cell is damaged. But actually, this is not cancer cell. This is some uh, suicidal effect. So you have to understand the MSC when they secrete CD and then when they meet the 5FC and then when they are converted to the 5FU, cancer cell also they can kill. This 5FU is very toxic to cancer cell and then MSC together. So, so which, is, which is why we can call it suicidal effect. So this is uh, not from the cancer cell, this is from the stem cell. Stem cell viability not change uh, when they didn't secret the CD, but MSC, they can secret CD, MSC, they are killed. And increase of this pro-drug amount more decreasing. And then uh, they checked the CD expression amount. So over increase of stiffness, CD is more expressed and YAB is more nuclear localized. Yeah, they are merged them together. But when they inhibit, these three inhibitor or a decrease. And this is a very interesting experiment. So they are using NMSC, CDMSC, And here, uh, when they mention the MSC CD, but this is really MRC CD, yeah, they miss label. So M this is MRC CD, which means they can feel the stiffness and then secret CD. So in the presence of five, uh, this prodrug amount, this is some breast cancer cell. So let's say uh, when they are co uh, sorry. They co-culture MSC and this cancer cell one to two ratio, right? And then first CD MSC and, and sorry normal MSC black, no cancer cell are damaged, right? For CD this MRCS CD, fatal stiffness and secret CD, they are decreasing. Decreasing, or uh, this is a without co culture, right? But because they they are culture with this pro drug, so this CDMSC, they secret CD, secret CD, they can convert the pro drug drug, so they are killed by themselves. But when they are co culture together, breast cancer, and the normal situation, no cell damage, but when they co-culture together using CD MRCS, they are damaged. So we can say this is some bystander effect. Bystander means they are not directly killed, but from the secreted CD 
After changing to F5, see to F5U, T5, F5U, they can kill this cancer cell. But when they measure this cell viability, they're using XTT was performed to measure the proliferation of both of them cells, not only from cancer cell. So that is why the CDMS only also they are killed. So we cannot say from this blue, this decrease of uh, cell viability may be combined with uh, MSC killed and breast cancer killed, but we cannot differentiate. So next step, they co-culture and then under this prodrug, and then they remove this MRCCD from the insert. So as you can expect, this insert consists of polystyrene. Polystyrene is high, a highly stiff material like glass, so which can mimic the high stiffness microenvironment. And then when they remove at day one, day two, day seven, and day nine, uh, this MRCCD, when they are removed, just on, only one day culture, they can kill 20%. When they co-culture for two days, almost 60% cancer cells are killed. Okay, this is only based on the this breast cancer cell viability. So we can say that in in vivo condition, our stem cell is home to target cancer cell, and then when they secrete the CD, maybe uh, they are from this the moment the stem cell also are killed by CD as well as cancer cell but only one day, two day communication with cancer cell is enough to kill cancer. They want to say that. And then this is some um, yeah, MS. They check the Lucifer MSC for in vivo and then how they are homed and how they are positioned. In tumor bearing, there are more tumor is a more prolonged position. But if we then don't have tumor free, they are all secreted to the kidney or other organs. So tumor, uh, so we, this is some confirming the MSC is really homed, preferred to migrate to metastatic breast cancer in lung. And then. Uh, this is maybe ah, they want to check the activation. So this cancer cell and then anti CD from MSC they are co-expressed. But here with a tumor uh, tumor free lung, there is no tumor and the only CD is real, little expressed. Also similar, and then they want to check MRCCD unable to attenuate cancer growth in the absence of F5C. This is used as control. People, are, we are always do with the 5FC injection of the prodrug to animal model, but they are asking what happened the without 5FC. Maybe we can say that this is effect is similar with the normal, normal MSC effect. Because even though they secret CD, the 5FC is not injected, there is no drug effect. So MRC CD without this prodrug is similar with uh, MSC, normal MSC. So nothing, nothing change, which means the growth of lung tissue of cancer is increased in the absence of the 5FC in people. And then, as I told you, three, four are things the same. And then this is some, as I told you, anti LOX. LOX is a cross linking antibody. So if you detect the LOX, which means they are more highly cross linked, but this is some, how can I say? Let's say this fibrosis is already finished, and then there is no expression of antilogs because they are already expressed. 
and then they are already function. Function is finished. So uh, when you stain these antilogs in the end point of the fibrosis, maybe you cannot see anything. So this is some drawback to use this logs antibody. But if you use previously mentioned two photon, three photon SHG, you can detect in any time, any point. But anyhow, they try to look at the antilogs, but not much of uh, increase in this tumor bearing, but not in here. So as you can see, this is very little. So people think that maybe it's not easy to see the fibrosis or stiffness increase in tissue using antilogs. So that is why they can change their strategy to use SHG using two photon, three photon machine. And then also antirox, and then this is breast cancer cell, SHG. Three of them are combined together in tumor buried lung. Well, but in tumor free lung, there is no breast cancer. So you can harmonize tissue from these three images. And then by the staining images, also fibrosis is well recognized in tumor bearing lung compared to tumor free lung. So this is some confirmation of locked expression unregulated in increased collagen expression in metastatic tissue. So maybe this is has been done after reviewer. So they were reviewer asking, okay, you are using SHG for confirming the stiffness of more stiffened micronitche, but previously people using many times these locks. So could you link locks and SHG, the tendons together? So I think this is the after the reviewer process. And then this is the HHG confirmation. Tumor bearing, cancer region, non-cancer region, tumor free. So as far as I see, when you detect the two photon, they show like this. And then when you uh, semi-quantify these images using MATLAB or ImageJ, you can get this kind of thing. And then from these images, you can get the semi-quantification value. Yeah, we have to study. Maybe in iTrain, we have to develop this kind of in vivo stiffness confirmation too. So, anti respiratory for cancer, more tumor bearing, and EGFP, EGFP from MRCS cell, and anti CD, and then cross ring SHG, they are all splitted. Maybe in major figure, they are all combined them together. Cancer, SHG, and apoptosis. This is already mentioned in main figure. And then they show us uh, tumor bearing high density cancer region, tumor bearing low density cancer region, maybe depending on the site. Some tissue have more cancer, less cancer, but they want to say how the cancer cell is positioned, how much. So this apoptotic level is also changing. So, and then this kind of very honesty is very good from the scientists. So as you know, you, we always want to highlight our thinking, our thought and notion, but in the depending on the sample or the position or site, they show a different things but this one or two images, depending on the, uh, whether the position is changed, we can observe the similar mechanism. And then other is metastasis index from the lung tissue. Okay, so do you guys have any question? So, Maybe I think after this class, maybe you can understand better about this paper. So I recommend to read all this paper for our final exam. Maybe I will give 
some some yeah, conceptual proof or how you explain this figure. Yeah. I'll make some task for you in final exam test. So I hope that you can learn something from this paper. So and then try to apply this concept in your study. And you can we can say that okay, stem cell is home to metastasis. And then how I can can I utilize this homing ability of stem cell? And then this kind of mechano sensing stem cell. And, let, and then you can imagine, okay, if we we can easily buy buy this kind of constructor, yep, the stiffness sensing promoter plus C D or EJP or Longish for age. And then if I have this kind of cell, what can I do? Actually, just we can buy this promoter in homepage website. Maybe they are commercially available. And then I strongly recommend please try to utilize this cell or concept or tool to your study. Okay, maybe this can be uh, our uh, your you have to you are ready for answering this question because I'm gonna ask in final exam task. So like essay. Like all essay or two or three sentences or one paragraph. You have to say how I can utilize this concept tool or system to your yeah, research. Yeah, for rem for reminding that point, yeah, you can think and read this paper. So when you read one paper, at least one thing you have to learn. And then utilize this learning point to your research. And then it can significantly improve your research power. Okay, thank you.